column, group one metals get softer and softer. The potassium cuts very easily. As we cut through the metal, we expose the shiny metal surface underneath. The potassium is extremely soft. We can easily flatten out the potassium metal. It has a consistency of cream cheese. The potassium is a metal and is an excellent conductor of electricity. If we add a piece of potassium metal to water, we see that it reacts much more rapidly with the water than the sodium. As you go down the column, the ionization energy decreases and the metal reactivity increases. The reaction is very exothermic and the hydrogen that's produced ignites. We can test for the formation of potassium hydroxide by adding phenethylene. The solution turns red-purple due to the formation of potassium hydroxide. We notice that it's also coated over with an oxide coating. Group 1 metals become softer as you go down the column. The sodium is much easier to cut than the lithium. As we cut off the oxide layer, we can see the shiny metal underneath. It coats over very rapidly with a layer of oxide. The sodium is a metal and is an excellent conductor of electricity. If we take a piece of the sodium metal and add it to water, we notice a much more rapid reaction with the water. Like lithium, the sodium is less dense in water and floats. The metal moves across the surface being pushed by the hydrogen gas that is produced. As you go down the column with group one metals, the melting point of the metal decreases. The reaction is very exothermic, which causes the sodium metal to melt. The metal contracts into a very compact spherical form. We can again test that hydrogen gas is being produced by this single displacement reaction by trapping the gas and testing its flammability. We can test for the fact that we produce sodium hydroxide by adding phenethylene. The phenethylene turns a purple-red color due to the